On behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, I am delighted to welcome you all to Buckingham Palace. Who knew that Buckingham Palace was going to be a place where we could talk about subjects which were taboo before? Tonight, we celebrate that while there is more work to do, the walls of judgment and stigma around mental illness are finally falling. Amazing. On such a special day where I feel like right now the whole world is having positive conversations about mental health on World Mental Health Day and to be invited to Buckingham Palace to uh, have a reception for the work that we've done is a blessing. It was the mental health community in this country that has pushed this issue to its tipping point. It's important to remind people that mental health isn't just a, a small problem that uh, has to be faced and smiled at and understood. It can actually be one of the most devastatingly difficult and, 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 and health uh, provoking problems that we have. And yet, I also want to say, and it's very important too, that at the same time, having a mental health problem, a disorder, an illness, is not a bar to a fulfilling, creative, and full life. The mental health uh, issue is a verb, not a noun. There's no, there's no finishing line. We haven't crossed a finishing line. We, we can't all sit down and relax now. This is, a, this is a celebration of an ongoing issue. I think we just have to keep on creating a platform for mothers, fathers, siblings, lovers, um, personal stories. We just need to make sure that we're getting everyone's stories out there so people have something to relate to so that they don't feel alone, so that they know there are other people out there going through the same things that they are.